Oh, every turn I'm just smacking this tire off the rim. Oh! I think I just burped the hell out of the tire. Did you hear that? Yeah. Alright guys, we're just chilling by the tents. Cooling down. It is hot. This is my third demo for the day, but look what I got. A hardtail. It's a new specialized fuse. All redesigned to a more aggressive hardtail trail bike. As you can see by the slacker 66.5 degree head tube angle and it's paired with the rock shocks 35 gold i believe it's called tl 430 millimeters of travel the 44 millimeter offset fork i'm on the size medium this is all they got you know this bike just came out so i'm pretty fortunate to ride this bike but uh the medium feels good 5.9 to 5.10 ish and uh the reach on it feels good everything feels good probably stick a 150 drop in there it comes with a 125 and this one is built with the SRAM NX, NX build kit. So it's got the 11 to 50 tooth chain ring or uh, cassette there. And then the SRAM level T brakes. But look at this, it's got this nice aluminum finish with like almost the same color as the Joker. A little sparkle paint right there, just like that. Aha, matchy matchy. Wait, to give you a hot video. Literally, because it's I think this is gonna be the last demo of the day. It's the first day in Nemba Fest and whew, put some miles in. But uh, <clears throat> on board the new specialized fuse, this thing feels really good. Size medium, I'm 5'10", 175 pounds, and it feels comfy. Probably put a bigger dropper on it. comes with a 125 dropper. Definitely could put a 170 and just, you can slam the saddle right down. But man, it feels good. Ooh, chipmunk. Feels good to be back on a hardtail. Gonna get used to riding this but it's nice just right here in these flats making my way to the downhills to sprint on the trail what we're gonna do today is troll stroll it's the last descent you know the other two i did toadie's tour and um tap and die so I figured i'd do troll stroll on the full rigid here not full rigid but it's hard tail but bike's super sharp looking with this brushed aluminum look and I'm digging the two six tires already. I know they're going to hook up really nice. Specialized makes some nice tires. So, well, you see how this puppy goes down. I'm excited. All right, let's hit it. Troll, stroll. So, let's see how this thing descends. I can tell it's going to climb pretty good already because it's a hard tail. And with this new uh, Geo slacker, lower, longer mentality of all these bikes. Woo. Uh, yeah, the fuse is doing the same thing. And it feels good. I mean, it's, that's what you want to do. So we got nice berm turns here and see how the swing rails. Whoa! We need a little. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. You can just I'm like rolling the back tire. You can hear it just I got like 28 psi in it. I'm still rolling it. Just push it. You hear that? So much grip. Two six tires. 2.6 inches wide, that is. He's looking for something. Let's rail this one. Oh, yeah. Roots. Nice. Rock trap. <laughs> Hardtails are fun. Really fun. It's been a hot minute since I've ridden a hardtail last. This is so good. I think this thing is super capable. But I just having fun carving the turns and kind of rolling the tires off the rim. He's just gonna put so much, hop this, force into uh, the turns. No energy loss in the suspension. He could boost everything. <laughs> oh my God. So fun. <laughs> this is probably the most fun I had on these trails today is on this bike. I'm not even joking. Love the hardtail. Like boosts everything. Whoa. Kick sideways. Yo. This fork is, feels plenty stiff, but the dampener is very like just cheap feeling. It's like this gold 35, RockShox gold or something like that. I don't know. It's just very just basic dampener, I guess. It's just kind of, you can hear the air compression. 
but as for the just the geo and how the bike feels it feels great really good bike for these kind of trails but if you put a you know frame you do a frame up build just get the aluminum frame put some carbon hoops on this bad boy and a little nicer fork this thing will rip oh that's fun oh every turn i'm just smacking this tire off the rim <laughs> Almost sounds like a fat bike. Oh! I think I just burped the hell out of the tire there. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, God, I'm doing another descent on this. Did you hear that? Yeah. Just slapped that berm and it ripped the tire off. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, because these are like the 2.6 tires, so they're not like full plus tires, but... You still got a little squish, you know? All right, guys, well, have a good one. Yeah, you too, man. Oh, now we gotta climb back up, right? Yeah. Getting to the top, Burnton Bench. And it's a hardtail. No energy loss through pushing the pedals. I am exhausted today. Whew. But man, I'm impressed with this thing. It, it's perfect, I love the Geo. I definitely get a size medium frame. Being 5'10", it feels super comfortable. But it only comes with a 125 dropper. You could probably fit a 170 on this thing with my legs. And that'd be kind of cool to like, just get that saddle way out of the way and just have a bike you can just smack turns with. Because if you heard me going down, uh, down the trail, it was just rolling the tire. And I got, with these two eights and or two six point or two point six inch wide tires, and I think the rims are pretty wide too. Thirty millimeter inner rim width. Um, I'm just loving it. I'm just going into the turns and just pointing my hips and looking ahead and just rack. Um, and I'm running twenty eight in the back psi, twenty six in the front, so it's not low pressure. It's right where it should be, but I'm loving it. This is a, it's just a fun bike. Brings you back to the basics of mountain biking. No suspension. You know, oh, well, it's got suspension, I guess. It's got a front fork, but no back shock. This is like my first mountain bike. Specialized rock hopper. All right, so we just finished riding the new Specialized Fuse, the 2020. And uh, what can I say? This geometry is bang on. It fits me perfect with the size, medium frame. You know, it's got the M4 uh, aluminum, and it's, it feels good. The ride quality is really nice. Uh, it definitely helps having these 2.6 tires. You know, it's a 29er wheel by 2.6. Purgatory in the back and the butcher in the front. Really nice grip. I was just rolling the crap out these tires. Though. I've got 28 PSI in the back, 26 in the front, I think it was. And it's still just rolling it off. Um, just because you can put so much energy into the turns. It's uh, ridiculous. You could do a lot on this bike. Obviously, you can put uh, 2.8 or I think almost 3.0 tires on here. I'd say 2.8 though. Plus wheels, and then you can move the chainstay and make it a shorter chainstay if you want. I mean, it is short enough right up. But guys, thanks for watching and joining me for these couple bike demos on the first day at Nemefest. Super tired right now, but uh, I'll catch you tomorrow, and uh, thanks for watching.